going on y'all the review is here and I'm back here to give y'all this album review of K Reno called the day of the storm y'all should know who K Reno is if y'all check out the other reviews I did of his I think I did the self-titled album and then a couple of the four piece albums as well I'll put those links in the description box in case y'all missed that this is K Reno's I don't know what number album <laughs> to be honest uh, I'll put that in the description box as well he made so many of them and this one right here is one of the few albums that I really dig of K Reno um, I think this is the only one that I know that has more than 17 tracks I'm going to give y'all the credits who made the beats of the album I'm going to put all that in the description box because it, it's a good bit of them and the features as you can see on the cover, it's PSK 13, Sniper, Chucky the Killer, and J Dash. All right, who is a singer, by the way? This is the real deal here, in case y'all missed that. I know how I do. And um, that's it. Let's go with the songs now. And I'm going to zoom this in. Okay. So the first one is called the day of the storm intro and this is a pretty good intro man uh k reno starts talking about the babylonian things that goes on in his world and then he starts rapping on this beat um it don't really have much of a snare things like that it got kicked though and he comes through with a pretty good verse y'all know how k does man the next one is called trouble road this is a really good track right here from k um he comes through with some crazy verses man he's talking about those that that may have been down in trouble and, and trying to get their life together but then there's a lot of people or there's some people out there that's still in their corrupted minds just like a dude he said yeah man i just did nine you know he's telling them like you know what you're out of jail focus on what, what's really need to be done it's a really nice song the next one is called ready to ride this is a really tight track and the hook is really catchy and K Reno comes through with the punch lines and dope lyrical skills that what he's known for I'm not gonna really say any of them on here but if y'all know K Reno he come through he comes through with some dope lyrics man and the beat is, is nice as well the next one is called I Miss and this is a really tight track K Reno is talking about the times when he was younger or back in the day pretty much reminiscing and he just saying things like the only job that you had as a kid was you know keeping your room clean and the times when we love to go out and play and I me you know I was raised in the 90s in the 2000s you know well I say early 2000s when when there was really no social media no internet we we had to explore outside mainly but anyway this is a really nice track, man. I, I really dig the beat and everything. Uh, the next one is Be Careful. I actually really like this song, man. And this song really hit home. Uh, K. Reno is talking about the, the, the people that you may encounter throughout the day. You may look at them as low lives or homeless people, but they can actually be angels out there testing you and things of that nature. And it's a really nice content. I really dig it. Um, the beat is pretty nice, not bad. Universal Author is a really nice track as well. K. Reno is talking about the God form of, of people and things like that. And y'all know how he gets down when it comes to that content. And the beat, I really dig it, man. It got that nice low, I guess it sound like a piano sound. And the beat is nice as well. And he comes through with some really dope lyrics, man. I, I think y'all should peep this song out, to be honest. Uh, I believe one of the guys made a lyric video for this song. Then the next one is Flow Session number four. Not four, four. <laughs> this is a really tight track from K. Reno. If y'all remember his history, he had a lot of Flow Sessions. He had Flow Session number one, number two, he didn't do a number three and then he came straight to flow session number four if y'all know what he does he does like some tight punch lines on this track 
one of my favorite lyrics on this song, I say one part, is he said that I'm a lion eating man that eats man eating lions. I think to myself, this that's probably one of the most creative lyrics that I've heard in a minute. But if y'all know, Flow Session, that's how he gets down with the punchlines. The next one is called um, Moan, Miss Opportunities and Negligence. This is a really tight track right here. I remember when I first heard this song, man, I digged it so much. K. Reno is telling three different stories on each verse. One part, he's talking about a woman that he took for granted. And, and the woman pretty much said, this is the last straw, it's over, and stuff like that. That's the only part I'll give y'all. Check the song out when you get a chance. I think this is another tight track that y'all should peep out. He comes through with the dope lyrics. Then the next one, I'm gonna go down to Sick For No Reason. This is a, a, a good track from K. Reno. He comes through with the punch lines and the beat is nice as well. I like that intro in the beginning when he's like, <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, I feel sick or something like that. But you know, he's joking around. But you know him, he comes through with some dope lyrics, punch lines, things like that. Identity Theft is a really nice track as well. Um, he's telling a nice little story about how someone cloned him and things of that nature. And I'm not going to give any spoilers on here, but it's pretty much a continuation of something. And I'm, the only part I'm going to say on there is on the last part he said, then the next one is called, I'm going to go down to Ain't Good Enough. This is a blazing track from K. Reno, man. I like that beat on there. I think Chemist produced this beat. And he's talking about a man that just got out of um, prison and he's trying to do right but jobs are neglecting him because of his record. He's a felon and he has a girlfriend and, and things, things are just pretty hard for him to you know, adjust to the system. Um, I'm not going to give too much on there but this is another track that y'all should peep out man. It's kind of sad too. Then the next one, I'm gonna go down to Dr. Jack. This is a really nice track from K. Reno, man. Um, he comes through with some dope lyrics, very lyrical on here. And this is what he does on here. He does a real good job with the lyrics. A must peep if, you, if you're a lyric head. Then the next one is called Return of the Sorcerer. This is a really dope track from K. Reno. If y'all are um, unfamiliar with his sorcerer stories, he came through with some more story tracks of this. And if you hear this song, you may not quite understand it. You may have to listen to the other ones first. The last track I'll do is Strip Down. This track here, I really dig, man. It kind of reminds me of like a romantic song. And he's talking about a, 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 a lady on here. When he means by Strip Down, he means mentally. I'm trying to strip down your mind. He wants to know where her mindset is at. And the speaker on this topic, this goes out to the women out there that think looks are everything. Looks are a part of it, but it doesn't prove what kind of person they are. And I'll stop there. That's all the songs that I review for this album. Uh, the rate this out of a 10. I would give this album a solid 8.5 to a 9 out of a 10, so 8.75. Uh, K. Reno does a really good job with the lyrics. Um, some of the beats are solid or good for the most part. I really dig this album, um, although this is probably one of the fewer albums that are not the best of K. Reno. I'll put it like that. But I'm a K. Reno fan, so I dig just about every album of his. So with that being said, you can hear this album on the streams, or if you prefer to pick up the CD like I have, you know, you would, um, you would do so. I mean, I think it's out of print now, so it may cost a little bit more ends. But if you're a collector my, like myself, you would prefer the CD. So with that being said, uh, shout out to K. Reno for coming out with a dope album. 
he, he's really consistent when it comes to making albums, so I put it out there like that. Um, be on the lookout for more K Reno reviews, album reviews, and even book reviews. I'm going to review those books that I purchased from his website. And if you want to get some more of his albums and things like that, I'll put that link in the description box for y'all to purchase and support K Reno. You know what I mean? It ain't too many rappers like him, man. So, but that's it. Much love to the real folks. Shout out to all the producers and the features. All right, much love. Peace out, guys. And I'll be on here back with another review. All right, peace out, guys.